And the hunt for this masked man from the terror group's latest execution video. Authorities trying to determine the identity of this new jihadi John and ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross here with the details. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George. U.S. and British authorities today are closely studying this latest ISIS propaganda video frame by frame, trying to identify the new English-speaking executioner who's now taken the place of a terrorist called Jihadi John, who was killed last year in a U.S. drone strike. Behind the black mask, the ISIS 2016 version of Evil Personified, speaking with a British accent. And we will continue to wage jihad, break borders, and one day invade your land. Since the release of this ten and a half minute video, which shows the execution of five supposed British spies, U.S. and British officials have been analyzing it in detail, looking at the physical build, the eyes, and the speaking voice and accent of the new ISIS executioner, who calls British Prime Minister David Cameron an imbecile. Only an imbecile would dare to anger a people who love death the way that you love your life. Among the possible suspects is this well-known British radical, Siddhartha Dar, who fled to Syria and ISIS a year and a half ago. We are here to call for After he and his mentor, the radical London cleric Anjem Chowdhury, were arrested by Scotland Yard on charges of supporting terrorism. The jihad is not, uh, you know, uh, a bad thing. Dar was interviewed by ABC News correspondent Lama Hassan in 2014 as he urged young Muslim men in London to push for Sharia law. I think that will be the the beginning of the end of the United States of America, of Britain, of Europe, and the you know in, entire world. A side-by-side -side comparison of Dar and the new ISIS executioner is far from conclusive. His family says it's not sure it's him. Some reporters who have interviewed Dar say it is him, and others say it is not. But one person in the video who has been identified by his family is this young English-speaking boy, who ISIS shamelessly uses to call for the killing of disbelievers. A London cab driver has now told British reporters that that young boy is his grandson. The child of his daughter went to Syria to marry an ISIS fighter and has used the little boy repeatedly in social media propaganda on behalf of ISIS. Boy, that George. is just terrific. Isn't okay, it? Brian, thanks very much.